How is not selling Kerrygold butter to Russia going to save any Ukrainian lives? How is buying filthy fracked US gas going to stop the war? They won't, of course, because nowhere have sanctions ever succeeded in ending a military assault or achieving regime change. Yes, Russia bears responsibility for this conflict, of course they do, but we cannot ignore the role of NATO and the EU, instead of promoting peace and acting in the interests of the people of Europe, the Ukrainians, the EU citizens, and yes, the Russian citizens too, has become a tool of NATO and the military industrial complex. What is needed is an end to the conflict, an end to militarism, a ceasefire and a negotiated settlement. We should restore our role as a diplomatic one. How is not selling Kerrygold butter to Russia going to save any Ukrainian lives? How is buying filthy fracked US gas going to stop the war? They won't, of course, because nowhere have sanctions ever succeeded in ending a military assault or achieving regime change. But what they have done is unleash economic devastation. This time round, which will be paid for by the people of Russia, including those out protesting against the war, and increasingly being paid for by the citizens of Europe, facing massive energy price hikes, inflation, and a catastrophic decline in their living standards. Talk about shooting ourselves in the foot. And of course, this moral outrage at Russia's illegal war, which has sparked this lunacy, is in sharp contrast to the lack of any such scruples in terms of the illegal US wars in Iraq or Afghanistan, which we not only didn't condemn, but we actually joined in and continue to do business with them all the way. No such scruples about Saudi Arabia's genocide in Yemen, and even as the victims of those conflicts in the last few meets, weeks meet to desperately seek financial pledges for their humanitarian crisis, they're being left short by billions, while we're happy to spend billions prolonging the war in Ukraine. Makes me absolutely sick. History has taught us that sanctions do not end military conflicts. They do not bring peace. They make the people suffer, not the oligarchs, the people, the people of Russia, the people of Europe. And they're not going to help save lives because the more arms you pump into Ukraine, the more the war will be prolonged, the more Ukrainians can, will die. And it might sound radical, colleagues, but the answer to war is not more war, it's peace. And peace isn't delivered by the barrel of a gun, it's delivered by diplomacy, by dialogue. You can wish away your continent's history, but we share a continent with Russia. We will sit down with Russia. There will be a negotiated peace, and this organisation should be promoting it earlier rather than delaying it and making sure that more Ukrainians die. Your feigning of sympathy rings hollow. It makes me sick, to be honest with you.